This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the new NW768-S series. This is the system that I'm going to be testing the Honda car with. I'm going to try to get the car to idle strictly on hydrogen slash oxygen. The unit's constructed with 16 plates, 3 by 8, 0.028 thickness. The tube is acrylic that you're looking through there, and there's acrylic one half inch on top and on bottom. The difference on this unit is there's no wires. There's two ports, a water port and a hydrogen T port. The plates are one eighth inch spaced, and the spaces are acrylic. All the plates are reversible. And hopefully this will be the unit that's going to run the car. This will be at least the first test unit. The plates are, as I said, 3 by 8 inches. So I've made the plates longer. The Aaron cell is 3 by 6. Like the Aaron cell, there are wing nuts holding it together on the top. In the electrodes that go through the half inch acrylic is the same electrode that goes on a car battery. I will be running tests on this unit tomorrow along with videos on it to see what it will do. And then Saturday I'll be hooking it up to the car. There's a good view of the attach stainless steel attachment to the electrodes that's on the left side. You can see the stainless bolts that go through or screws that go through the unit left and right. The unit is attached to the electrode with two stainless steel straps. There's one by my hand there and there's one on the other side. The cells do not touch the bottom. They're being suspended by those two straps. This unit will not be pulsed, but I am building a pulse system for it. The first step is to get the car to idle on straight hydrogen called hydrogen on demand. At this point I don't know exactly where it's hooking in. Last year I had one hooked in to the or below the air filter. This one I'm not ready to just to Hook it in at that place. We'll see. You can see it very easily is disassembled. And the whole unit is suspended by the two stainless steel straps. The NW series marks another evolutionary part in the cells that I've been working on.
there's still a little development that has to be done on this cell, but you can see it looks pretty hardy. There's two wing nuts holding it together. There's a good view of the spacers that are acrylic. I cut those spacers myself. I now have a company that cuts the half inch top and bottom acrylic, which makes life a lot easier. At this point, I'm still cutting the plates. Those are four washers that go under the wing nuts that hold hold it down. There's still a few kinks to work out in this system, but as you can see, it seems to be, or it looks like it's going to do the trick. With this cell, I should be generating much more hydrogen oxygen than the cells that are using the tubes. Most of the tube units have maybe three tubes together, maybe four. If you figure out the area-wise, I've got much, much more area on this unit than they have. If any of those are working, then this one will definitely do the trick. This one will be running with lye as the electrolyte. And the water will be distilled water.